If you're sick of the lies and ready to know thyself, to love thyself, well then tune in to The Lovolution with your hosts, Amy and John Paul, where we speak all about truth, love, and freedom every Tuesday night, 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern Time, Studio A, right here on Revolution Radio. And remember, only you can free your mind control. Be a revolutionary. Welcome to the Lovolution Show. We are a conscious family radio talk show speaking truth, love, and freedom for all. Know thyself to love thyself. In this show, we'll be discussing topics such as how to free your mind control, higher conscious level, self love, and self mastery, natural law conscious parenting, social engineering, and off-gridding, along with much, much more. And now, the sacred feminine and sacred masculine, dynamic twin flame, revolutionary host, Amy and John Paul. Enjoy the show. Big Levolution to all you beautiful spirits out there. We are the Levolution. You are the Levolution. It's Amy. And John Paul. One Levolution, all you beautiful spirits. We love you. Thank you so much for being here and tuning in today. It's the 22nd of October, 2024. Yes, and we're coming at you live in the 3D. From our humble abode on the mountain of truth, truth mountain, beautiful autumn day up here in the northeastern hemisphere, northeast part of the North America in the North Hemisphere. And we appreciate you guys. We appreciate revolution.radio and freedomslips.com giving us this awesome platform to speak the truth to all, all that'll listen. We got Sebastian, our seven-year-old, and Angus, our 10-month-old. You may hear them in the background from time to time. The parenting never stops. So even with a radio show. Um, if you can, please donate to Revolution Radio. Thank you so much for this freedom of speech platform yes please help support them revolution.radio and freedomslips.com check out the donation tab and follow the instructions anything uh, is appreciated to give us this sensor uh, free platform sensor free platform keeping the truth alive and the info flowing against all the lies on the cable news networks, the 24-hour paid liar networks. So we appreciate it. We love you guys. We're doing this because we care. Know thyself to love thyself. Free your mind control. Hope you're doing that. Every day. Yes. Deep Every day. Deleting the programs and the lies. All right. We're coming at you live. Uh, <clears throat> at five o'clock, live at five, to combat the lies of those evening news channels. Because we know people are coming, driving home from work, wherever, uh, finishing their day, however. And uh, yeah, we, we're we excited to be here. I think this is our 14th or 15th, 15th show. show. 15 yeah. weeks we've been blasting the truth out there. And we, uh, yeah, enjoy it, and hope you guys enjoy it. Reach out to us if this uh, information resonates with you. Um, 
Our website is Lovolution, L-U-V-A-L-U-T-I-O-N dot net. So, yeah, yeah so reach out. Lots, lots of great information on our site. There's a tab. You can pull it down. There's a Truth, Truth Warriors tab with a lot of researchers and truth speakers on there. And then there's a tab with Are You Aware tab, and that has a lot of different videos you can watch, a lot of different um, stuff that we've looked into and researched and have added to the website. So it's a great place to go and check out. It's a lot of rabbit holes to stumble down um, upon and uh, enjoy. And, yeah, revolution.net. Again, that's our website. Yes, blogs we have on there. Um, stuff we've written, videos, um, a bunch of interviews that we've done as well. You can check out. And, um, yeah, so we just want to do uh, kind of update you. We're off the grid if you're just joining our show. Um, we um, got here about four years ago in a tiny home and uh, very minimal. So... We were recently trying to get water put in a sand point well, and I don't know if I mentioned that or not, which is basically a 25-foot well, like a big nail into the ground with a pitcher pump, old-fashioned pitcher pump, hand pump, and uh, 25 feet is the limit that those pitcher pumps will suck up, so we're trying to hit water. Anyway, the first... first uh, thing was a strike we missed we missed um and got in about one foot and couldn't get it any further in this hard packed dirt and uh got it out somehow and uh yeah so now we're trying to take another strike for water we failed on that first one but we did get the equipment back so that was um very very helpful because it's an investment and uh so if yeah we don't know we're doing our dousing we use the dousing rods if you're familiar with that using metal rods and you hold them about a foot apart and you go you walk around your land and if they cross they say that's where the water is below you because the electromagnetic pull and yes pull. you can uh, in certain areas we have felt it i felt it personally very strong and it's amazing you just need two coat hangers really simple you just cut some coat hangers and uh you know with the right angle and hold them and they'll uh they're very useful now, the first try, we wanted to put it where we wanted it to be convenient. But that was a big mistake we uh, we uh, recommend others not make because you got to go where the water is, not where you want it, because then you'll end up breaking your stuff or not hitting water like we did um, coming up short. But we're, uh, we're confident on this next one. We have two spots we're looking at to get water i've been we've been lugging water from uh, a well excuse me a spring natural spring nearby very thankful we're in a really wet area mm -hmm. um, a lot of rain uh, lakes rivers and the ocean is close by so thankful for that hope you have good drinking water and can get it from a spring and filter your water wherever you do get it um, is it's best. So important. Water is so important. So yes. grateful for that. Cheers to water. Water is life. I love you, water. You can talk to your water. It has gives off frequencies. Yes. So it has can... memory too. It's mm -hmm. a beautiful thing. To... Yeah, water. And we we don't a lot of people we don't know much about water. It's a powerful element. It is really powerful. It can break grease quick. Lift up cars. It's powerful. It is. So, so yeah, the off-gridding, we're also hunkering down for the winter. Mm -hmm. And that means gathering as much wood 
as you can. Mm -hmm. And we have a kind of a mini wood stove. It's small, a little bigger than a shoebox. So sticks can light our place up for an hour or two. And uh, so we just gra gather the, a lot of the dead standing wood um, first and branches, lower branches on dead branches on the evergreens and stuff. They burn really hot. Yeah, it's so warm in the winter inside our house because it's so small that it's like 80 degrees, Miami Beach, negative 30 outside. So it's you'd think it'd be so cold, freezing in, in there, but we're actually very toasty. Yes. And we save a lot of money because our propane tank only needs to be filled once a year instead of every three weeks. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. That's a great point. Yeah, so we, um, we're we very minimal here. We don't have a fridge. We haven't had a fridge in four years almost. Um, but we don't eat dairy or animals. And uh, so we just have a fridge bag with a few things. Almond milk and ketchup and mustard and some jam. And uh, most people would be scared to death to see how we live. And with the lack of conveniences we have, we, we do a lot of things by hand, getting most of our own wood. We paid for a little wood this year. And then I split it down even more. Um, so we get the most out of our wood. We have two acres on the side of a mountain. And, uh, so we do harvest our own wood. We're harvesting a lot of stuff out of the garden right now. We grew our own, we grow our own food, and our garden ha has has uh, really gotten nice and fertile this year. With we added a lot of seaweed, wood chips, leaves, tons of compost. Just it's like a revolving compost continually. It's not far. It's about eight steps from our door, so we can just work on it, pick a salad, pick some ground cherries. Yeah, make a coleslaw. We make coleslaw. We, yeah, we have just, tons of cabbage. Mm -hmm. You just chop up your cabbage in the morning, add salt, vinegar, some oil, and it marries all day, and it becomes fermented, and it tastes really yummy. Yes. So cabbage is really grows really well here, likes the cooler weather. Yeah, I hope you get wherever you are, you can get a garden or pots, you know, if you don't have room on the earth. Pots and soil is a great thing. You got a, um, you know, piece of sun, sunlight, that's all you need, and some water. So, um, yeah, that's a, a continual thing. And then we do odd jobs here and there to, uh, you know, make ends meet helping people build or move junk or whatever it takes. We, we've we uh, built up um, a myriad of different skills, plumbing, heating, building, and electric, learning all about our electric, doing the power. The sun is powering this show right now, the charge we got today from the bright sun. Thank you, son. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we're gonna make a YouTube channel about doing it yourself. Simple off gridding. So stay tuned for that. Yes, we want to share and what we've done, what we've learned. Mistakes. Yes, basically like what we're sharing right now. Just mm -hmm. we're with a, a visible channel showing you instead of just talking about it. Mm -hmm. That's uh, definitely coming up in the works. Simple off gridding. Right, simple budget, not a huge lavish fifth wheel with like we've seen a lot of videos. Um, very simple, minimal, and uh, yeah, we enjoy it. Um, we're on the side of a mountain, kind of above the storm, and we get the sunrises over Canada. Pretty amazing sunrises. Um, thankful that we made the choice to get out of the mortgage rat race and i uh, hope you can too take your power back you know learn the skills we don't call anybody really for anything 
but uh, yeah, our, you know, septic. And once a year, we call the propane guy. That's it. Once a year, instead of once every three weeks, we were calling him with a big three-story house, and it was crazy. It felt like I became best friends with the guy. I was always seeing him. And uh, 350 bucks every time in the middle of the winter. Not cheap. So we got to take our power back. You know, they want everything with a meter on it, paying every month, paying them, paying them, paying them. So if you can minimize your monthly bills uh, by what we've done, we, that's why we wanted to keep more of our hard-earned money, you know. We time. We want to be together. We love yes. each other. We love being together. So when daddy's gone for 10 hours a day, it just didn't feel right. Yeah. Yeah, we use our money to buy time, exactly. Together, we get to spend. And, uh, you know, the, the homesteading and the off-gridding is always a work itself. And so... But when you, when you garden, you save a lot of money. Yeah, like All the do. lifestyle choices we've made has saved us a lot of money so we don't have to go out so much. Yeah, like we were saying. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you today also about not not self-identifying with anything, right? Your age, your color, race, religion, income sex. bracket, sex, right? Gender, whatever. So I wanted to touch upon that. They want you identifying with something, some sports team anything it doesn't matter just be a big fan and uh be distracted never knowing yourself all right that's how they want we're easier controlled when we don't know ourselves we we always say that you might wonder why but when you know yourself you can begin to love yourself you've begun your love evolution personal love evolution and uh, that's what we encourage people. That's why we're doing this, to encourage people to start their personal evolution. One thing we say, live the evolution, right? Live your own evolution and uh, be that example around your circle of people, that, that person that thinks outside the box, Mm -hmm. Right, that doesn't identify with their age or income or, or job or where they live or who they live around or what car they're driving. Their job they have, right? The profession, the money bracket, all yeah. of this external stuff. Yes, they want you to find something to identify with, find something quick, and or you know, any belief, right? We know beliefs are lies we tell ourselves that's um one of the big things in a cult initiation we got to stop lying to ourselves okay that's how we get out of the mess stop stop lying to people but of course it starts within you, you can't be telling yourself a lie but then that lie projects out to others and then you lie to others. Easy. No problem. At the blink of an eye. Easy. We lie. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's, yeah. it's not a good habit to have. No, not at all. Many people are compulsive liars, too, because one lie leads to many. And if their perceptions are based in lies, then, yeah, it's a, that's an unconscious slippery slope. So, and then we're easily manipulated, right? Yes. The other big topic we want to discuss today is the assimilation to transhumanism, otherwise known as, very popularly known as AI, artificial intelligence, the Archon inversion, if you know about the archons and the reptilians that have been here for millions of years that are controlling right, us with fear in a low vibrational emotional state and 
mental state, very low awareness. Their mindset. Right. Their yes. Chilean mindset. They use um, AI, the artificial intelligence, make it hip, make it cool, make it look just so real and write papers for you, write a book for you, whatever. Um, now you can't, they want to do that um, to basically you know, merge us with AI, with the nano you know, technology, the chemtrails, the 5G, the nano robots. Okay, it's all in there. Yeah. We got to do the research, folks. Yeah. We've, we've brushed upon the AI and the tr choosing nature over AI, but Today, we're going to get into AI. What is it? And transhumanism, what is that? Okay. When they're basically changing humans right before our eyes with that word is what it means. And, you know, they've created a 2.0, a human 2.0. Okay. And that's up to you how... Um, you perceive things how you perceive covid if you got the jabs if you didn't get the jabs those were very dangerous and they were a big part of this assimilation into um the ai merging us human, yes human yeah merging us with technology okay it's not cool elon musk is not your buddy He's not a cool dude that has the freedom and truth. Freedom of speech, yeah. You know, in mind, no. They say this to hook us. Yeah, he has three companies, and they're all AI. Mm -hmm. Tesla, Neuralink, and SpaceX. And they're all pushing mm -hmm. Neuralink and SpaceX, especially pushing the assimilation <laughs> of technology into the human body taking our consciousness from us but we are giving we're we're we're, we're begging for it because we just love our technology we're so hooked on, on these black mirrors or you know the tv that's got a thousand channels or two thousand channels and is um basically has surpassed the telescreens from 1984 in George Orwell's book, mm -hmm. right? These televisions are spying on us. All sorts of appliances now are recording data. Your fridge is recording everything and I knows see. how many people live there and who's going in every time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw the other day they had alarms on the doors these locks that were all AI. You're not even locking your door. I mean, that's just sketchy. You have no control. <laughs> Everything's AI. It's doing it for you. Great. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Yeah, half the people walking around are probably AI. Yeah. Yeah, I saw robots the other day shooting with guns, and they're training these robots to, to shoot these guns, and they have robot dogs that shoot guns. I mean, just like Hunger Games, the AI, right, shooting at people. I mean, that, it's not a, it's not a yeah. joke, folks. It's no, not a robotic joke. dogs in San Francisco with weapons yeah. to not, shoot people. Yeah, it's not dangerous. Okay, this isn't cool. The drones aren't cool flying around. They're spying. They're part of the surveillance, right? Recording everything. Just like 1984. Yeah. The Hollywood stars, they're all clones, all right? Your political leaders, clones, mm -hmm. okay? We, don't, we can't even fathom mm -hmm. this type of stuff. All right, I got an amazing quote from Aldous Huxley. He wrote Brave New World. You might have heard of him. Technological progress has merely provided us with more efficient means for going backwards. Aldous Huxley said that. Technological progress has merely provided us with a more efficient means 
for going backward. And that is so true. Aldous Huxley said that. Yeah, he knew what was going on. Oh, was, yeah. He was in the circle there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> or square, you could say. Yes. Yes, the Saturnian forces are dark, dark, dark. All right, so we want to know about that, learn. We got David Icke, a couple books by him. Um, amazing author and truth speaker that has inspired us along our journeys, helped to wake us up uh, with so much information. Wow, about the moon and the Orion Saturn sim simulation and the moon being that control center and structure to control this earth. Mm -hmm. um, so it's fascinating stuff. We have read many of his books, and uh, <clears throat> he taught us about a lot about the transhumanism, the agenda, what what they want, right? The nanotechnology, they're merging it all with syn oh, synthetics, yeah. robotics, the nano, the there's a merging of all like a bunch of those new technological. Um, Right, and the wearables. Different genres, yeah. <clears throat> it went from ha handheld technology to wearables, right? Get them used to the wearables. Mm -hmm. And then we'll inject, have injectables. We're going to inject these computers, these little tiny microchips inside the body. Sounds weird, but it is um, a goal yeah, this, of theirs. It's been for a long time. The... Reptilians, the Archons, if you've done your research, you know what I'm talking about. They love the technology and use, they have us basically addicted to it. They call it uh, digital heroin, right? And that's how they get us to just roll over and follow the assimilation right into AI no more human thought, consciousness. They want to con bottle it up, control it. Right? When they sell you with, you'll, be you'll become godlike with this new um, neural link that Elon offers and SpaceX putting thousands of satellites up. And, he, and he's getting um, a, the okay from the FCC to put many 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 more up so that are going to be spying on your ass and our ass so we uh we want to know about these things and we speak about them when we do know and there's a lot to know like in david ike's book everything you need to know but have never been told an amazing uh book i recommend highly recommend yeah, David's been doing the hard the research. He's been putting in the time. He devotes his life to this. Yes, and all the true speakers that have come before, we thank you for all your hard work and courage and researching. Mm -hmm. Some of our favorites, Mark Passio, David Ike, Jordan Maxwell, right, Max Egan, to name a few. Um, some amazing women, my um, partner, Amy Pierce, Laura Eisenhower, Kathy O'Brien. Um, we need Maria West. Yeah. We loved all you guys and girls and everyone we haven't met. You know, we need more truth warriors and out there, you know, basically get to critical mass so we can get this turned around. We need to, choose a excuse me choose nature over the artificial okay we're as real as it gets here this family we're very simple we're we're not bragging we're just telling you what we know and how we live and the natural laws in the universe they are real that's a science not a based on beliefs because we don't do beliefs here beliefs are 
when you be lying to yourself, okay? And it's in the first five letters of the word believe or belief. So, yeah, knowing thyself, know things. Don't believe them. Those are just comfortable lies we like tell ourselves because we don't want to do any work. And we hang around with people that like those comfy lies. And they like those comfy lies. They validate my comfy lie. So we're going to all hang out and tell our comfy lie together in places called churches. And then they go. And temples. <laughs> and, then, and then someone will say, oh, good. You're not going to challenge my, my belief. Good. Yes. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll hang out with you. <laughs> And our son, he he always says, <laughs> "What? Well, what do you want to say?" We we'll get our heads up our asses more. Yeah, more. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get people to take their heads out of their rear ends. I had mine up there for a while. I had to pull it out. No one else can do it but me. I had to learn the hard way through many hard lessons before I met Amy and before our beautiful family, but. That, that helped me be the conscious parent that I am now. So um, I appreciate those lessons. And, uh, yeah, you know, not identifying with things. Getting back to, guys, that's a big part of um, becoming self-aware, realizing you're all that is, was, and can be. As David Icke says, infinite awareness or in awareness of itself all right animals don't have that self-awareness they're just based fully on instinct they they act and react and uh we have that capability of knowing ourselves knowing why we're doing what we're doing And, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Animals can't really know themselves. They know that they are a deer or whatever, but they're not trying to look in the mirror and, and uh, yeah, have an ego or, or anything like that. They do feel pain. Animals do feel pain, right? We lie to ourselves when we say they don't, okay? There are sentient beings, our brothers and sisters here, earthlings, on the planet and we love them and uh we are big advocates to do as little harm to the animals okay everyone says they love animals and then turns around and they got a dead animal on their plate so we're not hypocrites we don't eat animals we don't eat anything with a face and uh that's gone really well for our family personally consciously raising our conscious level while simultaneously dropping our fear right because we're eating fear and torture and murder and death and so that brings our, our vibration down right and it's the ultimate form of domination when we eat the flesh of another animal and so we have to get out of the domination um, program that, you know yes. yeah the domination it's not not a good what, what, what place to be the male dominator program of domination and that patriarchal program yes absolutely and school teaches us domination if you think about it everything they teach us in school the sports so we're taught domination when we get right away when we get here to this matrix yeah and it's you know it causes us to stay in that frequency that low frequency yes of dominating something and of competition too yeah. absolutely well great point yeah we gotta we gotta know thyself try to be better than you were yesterday but 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 not not some you know try not to dominate others no. that's what government does right they're big bullies yeah. that's what yeah yeah don't be an a-hole and a bully because that's exactly what government is right so we're here to unite people. We, we have open minds. Freeing your, your mind control means keeping an open mind, you know? 
Mm-hmm. Or, right. No question is a stupid question. No, we right. love everybody. Camp Revolution here. We're open to new discussions, things we haven't heard before. That's really cool. Let's look into that. Thank you for sharing. That's interesting. So we're always open to new new ideas, new things we've never learned before. Yes. It's really important. Right. We know religion, though, is mental slavery. We know government, genocide, slavery, indoctrination, the schools. Okay. The so, origins of all these things are important to know. Yes. Like last night we watched a movie about the, the origins of the Christianity. Um, we're always learning about the origins of all these. Yes. Thanks dogmas, to different... Mark Passio's. Mm-hmm. T- Arc 2.0, big um, shout out to him because we have enjoyed so much of that knowledge on the arc that he provided us. You go to his website, What on Earth is Happening, check out uh, the arc. It'll have a kind of a tab there, or a flyer, or a shot of it, an advertisement. Click on it and follow the instructions. You send them a two gigabyte hard drive and they'll send it back to you loaded with unbelievable amounts of information. I think like something like 50,000 audio files, 26,000 books and like 3,500 videos. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you, Mark. We're enjoying that four years later after we bought it every night, we check it out. Our kids, they love it, mm-hmm. right? So a lot of no taboo stuff, spiritual stuff, all sorts of stuff from COVID even, um, and old stuff, new, you know, new stuff. Any and um, any and every imaginary, imaginative wormhole you could go down. Topic, yeah, he helped to really help our awareness and perception um, be raised just through this information. We knew we had to get it because it was the internet isn't going to always be there and kind of like an education for our children and our seven year old. He loves it. We pick out stuff and yeah, every night he's like, can we watch the art? Can we watch something on the art? Yeah. Like, yeah. So we have, um, Let's do it. we have a good time watching you know, about ETs or Bigfoot. Um, just a shout, just a little update about Bigfoot. We're, we're going to have our friend Dan Arnold on um, to speak about Bigfoot. He's done some Bigfooting, Sasquatching, and we love Sasquatch. And uh, they're around us, we know. And so we're, we're hoping to manifest one right here to, to our uh, camp here. Yeah, I saw one last night in my dreams. Female with a little baby, long brown fur, and it, it was amazing. I've had another dream about Sasquatch, so she or he is going to start showing up in this dream. This dream, because we're dreaming right now. Yes. Exciting. Yes, Being sir. open to everything is really important. Taking in the information, taking in the grammar. Taking in the knowledge and then sharing it, you guys. Sharing it is really, really important. Yes. So. Balancing yourself and doing that inner work. Mm-hmm. That's uh, knowing thyself. Yeah. Then you don't second guess yourself. That that brings you to loving yourself and then putting it out mm-hmm. to the world, sharing, right? What you found out on your journey and your experiences. Yeah, each and every one of us is a, is a puzzle to the, the piece to the puzzle. Um, so every everyone's story, everyone's experience matters. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and everyone can teach you something, you know. Don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. You can learn something from everyone. We try to teach our kids this. The universe is coming through that individual trying to get a message to you. Yeah. It doesn't yes. matter who it is. But there's a message. Are you listening? Paying attention. Yeah, our our kids teach us a lot of lessons, and all day they do. Patience. Yep. 
how to get closer to thyself. Yes. They're pure. It's us that program them. But yes, getting out into the woods. How do you, you just ask, how do I get closer to myself? Mm-hmm. Getting out into the woods, right? Getting to stillness, meditating, journaling, right? Hugging a tree, <clears throat> digging a, doing some rake, raking some leaves, working with the earth. Yeah. And uh, move your body, yeah. Get, moving get with that oxygen, exercising with the earth is an amazing thing. I get to experience with gathering wood and cutting wood and chopping, splitting wood. Um, so yeah, getting out, doing also the journaling, though, the mental part that you know, and help get that mental clarity. I've been journaling for over 30 years. And this really helps when I'm just frustrated or stressed or need someone to talk to. You can just whip out your journal and be completely selfish and whatever you get out that emotional muck or that stress or, you know, whatever you're thinking about. Um, Before you talk to somebody, write it down. Get it out first. And yep. then you approach things differently. Yep. Or it. feeling grateful mm-hmm. or feeling sad or however you're feeling. Mm-hmm. Writing it out is very powerful and helpful. Um, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, the, and back to the AI, I just wanted to mention, you know, it's not all bad. We've met amazing people online. You know, we're grateful for, for technology, that. yes. But it's the is fact a tool. that this AI, this uh, archonic race wants us to think AI is God. God, you know, some survey asked these girls, what would you do um, if you lost your phone? Or what, was something about would you choose your boyfriend or would you choose your cell phone? And all the girls, all these teeny boppers said, I'd choose my phone any day. You know, it's the fact that. We are possessed by AI. They want us to be possess. They want us to want AI like um, a binky, you know, depend on it. So it's all about balancing, getting back to your true nature, nature itself, and uh, balancing. Knowing that it's a great tool. Speak with AI. You know, get your voice out there. Start a blog. Start a page. But don't become so obsessed that you lose your consciousness, right? I just wanted to bring that point up. Yes. Because we we, ba- we balance that. We have we, we do do technology. Yes. Course, yeah. But. We use it. It's a tool, right? Using it to get out information, connecting with people, like-minded people, sharing information, <clears throat> sharing ideas, mm-hmm. sharing experiences. You know, but you don't want to live there. Right, too much of anything. They studies have proven, right? Stud, staring at the screens decays our brain. Wow. It decays it. It doesn't help it. It right. It deadens the cells in our brain yeah. while we're doing. So the more screen time, the more dead brain cells. The more dumbed down we become. Right. That's why our little babies should not be near a screen for a long time. Yes, yes, indeed. You know, people, don't give your babies or kids, uh, young kids, cell phones to have and right, play with right. and stare at. Totally. The radiation get coming off them mm-hmm. with the millimeter and mi- microwaves is ridiculous enough. The, and their skulls are so soft at that age and. They yeah. can penetrate. The guy, Steve Jobs, who invented the, these new technology, he didn't invent them, probably the Archons did, but he was given the credit for bringing it out. The Apple guy who passed, he wouldn't let his kids near these things because he said they're mind control devices. Yeah. Plain and yeah. simple. Mind Absolutely. control devices. Yeah. He called them. Right. The and kids get depressed on there. Teens are killing themselves. Suicide rates. It's really dangerous. Oh, yeah. The peer pressure is probably 10 hundredfold mm-hmm. now. The bullying on there. Yeah. People can type anything on online. Right? Yeah. It's terrible. Wow. 
No, that's a so great point. We careful. don't even think about it. These weren't around when we were in high school. No. Um, the cyber bullying that wasn't even thought of. It was yeah. just, you want to fight, meet me outside or whatever. Mm-hmm. But totally. It was, uh, yeah, the, the bullying, it was to a minimum compared to these days. And that's the same in, with government. I mean, the control has just gotten outrageous. Yeah. If we're buying in and we think government's going to help us, we're under such mind control and, and brain damage that we got to really take a second look and respect ourselves. Someone who respects themselves doesn't like being told what to do by this, you know, some illusory master and be brave i mean a lot of people think this way that government slavery but they don't act on it they don't speak about it oh it's just the way it is it's just the way it is yeah just, we're gonna just, just deal with it we're gonna hope for change the two-party system yeah that's it no that's not it yeah. no <laughs> we don't want to accept evil no that's not it we can do better yeah. not going to accept this government is mind control it's all wrong because it's based in violence and coercion and slavery right you don't pay us then we'll put, throw you in a cage so no, yeah. yeah it's all wrong it's always has been wrong and um, people get kicked out of their homes but fear has created uh, allowed this to transpire mm. and grow and grow and grow into this big mess that it is right. now right that's and a good ancestral point ancestral patterns right and have courage face those fears and then live in love and yes. choose the right thing ancestral acquiescence too everyone just bowing down to those the rich politicians that tell us what to do no it's time for us to take the power back unify we gotta unite right we all bleed red we're all in this together the human family i know it's hard for many to think big like that but we have to think bigger than these little governments and these little consciousness consciousnesses that run these governments right use the imagination imagine right imagine imagine a better world that's so cool yes first we must imagine they want to take that imagine a nation from you yeah they they don't want you to imagine anything but paying them every month go along with how it is happy slaves yes and the lego movie what does it say sebastian about in the lego movie be happy fit fit in be happy and care what others think about you oh always be happy always be happy (laughs) yeah don't look into any truth no nothing to see there just like the wizard of oz right be happy fit in and yeah go to work and shut up we don't want to hear any questions no don't question anything no and that you have put up your ass, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Lego movie teaches that. There's a lot of allegories in the movies. Got we got to realize this. So many allegories. The Matrix was a documentary, right? Hunger Games was an allegory documentary where they want to lead us. Okay, it's becoming very clear, right? They're destabilizing the United States right before our eyes with the immigration with the immigrants coming from everywhere with, you know, free hotel rooms and free uh, debit cards or whatever. So we got to realize what's going on. They're, they're here to create the destabilization. Then with the election, create the civil war. We got World War Three over in Europe already. So they want to bring it here. And be aware of that, folks. All right. That the revolution, we're all about being aware, knowing what's going on. Don't have your head up your ass. It's not cool. All right. I was there once. It's not cool. I had to do a lot of work on myself to get to where we are now and to have a fa- raise a conscious family. Um, 
but it took a lot of uh, negative experiences, right? A lot of um, a lot of suffering and a lot of um, soul searching and realizing knowing thyself. You gotta you gotta go deep. You gotta dig deep, and it all stemmed from my thirst for knowledge. I always like to know what's going on. I want to know what's going on. You don't want to know. I don't want to believe shit. I've been told this and that. I don't believe this guy. I don't believe that person. I don't believe anything. That's my my motto. I don't believe it. I'll know it or I don't know it. I come across that information. I resonate with it or I don't resonate with it. You know? And be aware of the new age bullshit out there and the new age deception. We are not part of that new age being we got the name Levolution, that's from my personal experience, what I went through, my personal evolution and to love and my uh, a revolution of consciousness, evolution of consciousness and revolting against the system, all culminating in this word Levolution that, that uh, came to me. Anyway, but we need to... We're not, my point is we're not new agey. We want, we speak the deep, dark truths. We know what's going on. We know uh, the pedophiles, the Satanists, the rituals that go on, the high holidays coming up at the end of this month, one of their favorite holidays, right? The human sacrifice holiday. They love it. And we perpetuate it with our little, many fear factories all on every neighborhood everyone's trying to scare each other and the archons they love this holiday speaking of but i digress getting off the topic we'll talk about the uh the holiday at the end of this month i don't even want to say the word give it any any attention really but we don't do holidays here at the levolution we know they're all based on nonsense mostly Catholic, all right, just massacres, debauchery, and horrible stuff that occurred. And we don't, most of us have no idea why we do this, right? Thanksgiving, that was the natives, they just massacred. But yeah, so realize, and they massacre all these turkeys too. I mean, we got to think about the turkeys, we kill this thing, stuff it, stuff its ass, put it in the oven and think this is great. This is a wonderful dinner. And the vegans, the ones who don't want to eat dead animals are the crazy ones. But we'll stuff a turkey's ass and eat it. Yeah, no problem. So, yeah, we got to reevaluate our behavior as a human species. It really gets me um, angry. And that's the correct response. When you are awake and are aware, that righteous indignation we should all have, okay? When you see through the lies and you raise your awareness, you raise your perception, you change, you make changes in your life, right? The fall reminds us that change is constant. We got to remember that. The fall is a beautiful season, the transitional season, going from hot to cold, right? The duality, that transitional season, we're all getting scared of winter, oh no. No, fear is a liar, remember that. Don't ever forget that, fear is a liar. Face those fears. We, are, we live on the side of a mountain and in the Northeast, people would call us crazy, right? Some of the winds and the wind chill, so cold, but we we adapt right you you build your shelter strong and you uh, have a wood stove that can keep you guys nice and toasty no matter what the temperature right so knowing these things taking your power back loving yourself knowing thyself anyway we're coming up on the end of the show it's five 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 and i hope you're alive not just breathing wherever you are we got we to gotta be alive, folks. Um, 
not just breathing like like uh i just said breathing is just like the walking dead those are the the walking dead when you're just breathing you're just a flesh robot i call them we don't want to be flesh robots folks back to the ai okay choose nature over ai please right it's humanity depends on it we need more people choosing nature and saying no i will not support and i will not go along with this artificial intelligence okay this arconic invasion right do the research please 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 like jordan maxwell said do your homework all right people the americans they need to do their homework they haven't done their homework that's jordan maxwell and uh Yep. So anyway, Jordan Maxwell, rest in peace, brother. We love all the amazing work you've done. And uh, thanks for speaking the truth to all that listened. And uh, yeah, all the amazing truth warriors on our page. Check out lovelution.net. Don't forget. Yeah. Don't forget lovelution.net. One well, poet and didn't know it. Yo, that's just a little preview of some rhymes. We're going to hit you with some freestyle. Thank you for tuning in, beautiful spirits. We'll see you next week, Tuesday night, 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. We love you. Big love, Luke. Love yourself. Peace. Listening to Revolution Radio. Are you interested in the paranormal? Murder mystery? Real natural law? Do you enjoy interviews with amazing guests? Then join Crypt Rick every Monday night.